So this should be a fairly quick video. I will explain all I can about the edge split modifier. And I just want to apologize in advance, as this is probably the only modifier that I have never actually used in Blender. So from what I understand, the edge split modifier basically splits out each face on a mesh. So for example, if I go into edit mode on this cube here, and then move this top face, you can see that everything is linked. However, if I now apply an edge split modifier and then apply it, uh, let me come out of proportional editing mode, there you go. So you can see everything has been split out. Now the only use I can really see for this is in a case like this. We have two meshes here which are the same to an extent, however one of the models has denser topology and this one is low poly. Now shader smoothing will look a lot better on denser topology, so if I now smooth both of these meshes you'll be able to see that the denser topology mesh looks a lot better when smoothed, the low poly one looks not as good. However, if I was to now apply an edge split modifier to the low poly mesh, you can see that it looks a bit better and it's almost trying to replicate the subdivided mesh and the smoothing works a lot better with the um, low poly mesh now that it has an edge split modifier on it. You can also control the angle at which you want the edge split to work on right here and you can also set it so that only sharp edges are split out. So for example, if I was to select all these lines here, mark that as sharp, you can already see how the smoothing is working. If I was to now apply this, and then grab all this for example, you can see that it is essentially split that part of the mesh based on the sharp edges around there. So that is a general summary of the edge split modifier. It has its uses, especially in the form of shading, and perhaps some of you can find better uses for it. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.